What's going on everybody? Sean Dudley here. Spirit Auto Center. It's a beautiful, beautiful Wednesday. Good morning to you. you know what that means. It's time for a Wednesday walkthrough. Today, it's going to gonna be a little different it's actually gonna be something kind of cool I've been looking forward to doing this video for you guys for a little bit now um, we get to do one of my favorite things today we're going for some training that's right we got gladiator training which is pretty cool I've done a couple videos so far about the new gladiator so definitely check them out um, pretty excited about this I feel honestly you know Chrysler you should have done this training a little bit sooner Gladiator has been on the road since May. It's the end of July. I'm not gonna say nothing about that. Anyway, you know, it's my personal opinion. My opinion don't matter in the grand scheme of things. But today, we're gonna go out. I'm gonna take you guys with me. It's gonna be a nice little excursion. We get to do some hands-on training today, so it's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, let's go check it out. It's gonna be a little bit. We get to hang out at work for a few hours, and then uh, me and my homie Tommy, we're gonna go and uh, Take a nice little drive and uh, see what it's about. So it's pretty cool. Let's go. Hey, speaking of Tom, there's Tom right there. Hey, good morning. You ready for some training today? Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's a beautiful day for training. It is, yeah, it really is. <laughs> Let's get this. There's nobody here. It's just us. <laughs> Welcome to my messy desk. But hey, gladiator training. So, yeah, we got training today. Um, that's the crazy thing. Training that Chrysler does. So, basically, what they do is they do um, it's called the experimental event or whatever. So, it's our hands on training. We get to drive a lot of the vehicles, which is kind of cool. So we sit around, we wait, and we get new inventory in. And um, the, I've been, since I've been selling, I've been selling for uh, three years now. And this is actually going into my fourth year. Uh, first year we did uh, training on the Compass. So when the Compass came out, that was done. Uh, last year was the 19 Ram, which was actually a really cool um, experience. And now we get to do the Gladiator, which is a lot of fun. I'm pretty excited about it because I know it sounds kind of crazy. I love training. I actually, um, it's probably one of my favorite things to do because I like to know about my vehicles. Um, like to know my craft. It's kind of important, so I don't really have to ask a lot of questions. Um, and when the Gladiators came out, I had a lot of people ask a lot of questions. So this is the cool thing to actually be able to. Um, get hands-on play around we do product comparisons so um, last year when we did ram training it was against the chevy and it was against the ford so um, we're probably going to be doing it against uh, other mid-sized trucks today so that's pretty cool we get to go we get to learn we get to see features about it and we get to drive it so when we did the compass training it was a off-roading course I don't know if you've ever been to um, any of the auto shows. Jeep does this thing called Camp Jeep, where they do an off-road experience with all of their vehicles. So we get to um, check that out with the Gladiator, which I'm pretty excited about. Talked to one of my colleagues. Uh, she went for the training yesterday. So it was pretty cool, some of the stuff that they get to do. So I'm going to keep it a little hush-hush, and we get to get out of here in a couple hours. It's like almost nine o'clock now, so we're gonna be taking off at around 11. And we get on the road and take an hour drive because they don't do anything close to here. Yeah. Um, one time it was Lancaster, PA, which was cool because I used to live there. And then the other time it was um, actually up in like Morristown, I think, for the rain train. So we're going up to Langhorne, PA, uh, up to Oxford Valley Mall. So. Pretty stoked. Just giving you guys a little tidbit of what's going on, and uh, yeah, pretty excited. So here we are, the inside of the Jeep tent, beginning of everything. Actually, it's pretty cool. What's up, Tom? So 
this is uh, interesting so far. It's probably the biggest group I've ever been through. Um, me and Tommy are going to be rocking it all day today. We kind of finagled uh, getting us into the same group so we can shoot some video together. So it's cool. track this is where we get to see the five key points to being trail rated but there's only four of the five key points um, apparently the gladiator does not fit in the water tank that Chrysler has so we can't do water fording but you have to be able to maneuver the maneuverability articulation traction water fording and ground clearance are very important those are the five factors for being able to be trail rated and we get to test that out today so it's pretty cool um, Check it out. So for this obstacle, it's a hill climb. We get to see what the uh, forward-facing trail cam will do. Uh, as you're going up this hill, you're looking straight up into the sky, and it's actually really nice. You get a graphic on the camera. It actually shows you exactly where your wheels are going. And it's no problem whatsoever to go over this. This is your uh, pitch and roll. And you're gonna have a system here that's gonna show you your angle. So you can see this gets really sideways as it goes. Man's going through pretty fast. He's done this before. All right, enough watching. Let's go drive one of these things. I love these off-road courses. They're so much fun. They didn't follow the rules. Dead. We're gonna pop in that uh, four inch sway bar. Right? Yeah. We're supposed to pop it up here. There's all those connectors. It's got on a cluster back there. Yeah.
too shabby for my off-roading experience of zero. <laughs> so that does it for our Rubicon training, uh, off-road training, I should say. Now we're gonna head over to, I think we're going to the speed course, which is fun. That means we get to drive really fast. That's gonna be our uh, comparison course where we get to drive a Gladiator, a Tacoma, and a Colorado, because that's what's up in our class. And I don't see it. Oh, and a Ranger. I'm sorry. There's also a Ranger. So those are the uh, mid-sized trucks that we're going to be up against. So Got to see how they handle it. See what you're saying about the uh so much better. So much comfortable. Ain't too bad back here either. Nah. Barely moved at all. I bounced around, but I was secure. <laughs> I didn't feel like I was gonna fly out a window, so that's a plus. I don't, to, I don't need to go work my forearms out at the gym today. Look at that. That just doesn't look fun. <laughs> you feel the same after we go over this side, bro. This, this one's going to be the rough one. Oh, in the front is rough. Oh, my God. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's not it. Oh. Woo. So, that was fun. <laughs> Oh my god, my back hurts. Yo, honestly, like, so they, you go through a couple of obstacles out there. Um, <laughs> one of them is this, this pothole thing, right? And you get to see how these the vehicles handle going through this pothole apparatus. And you go through it not once, but twice. And the second time is the worst. Those potholes are gigantic. It's to replicate what it would be like driving through a city street. Um, yeah, I got thrown around in the back seat of the Colorado. Um, I think I flew out of my seat, even though I was seat belted in, I flew out of my seat in the back of the Tacoma. Um, no, what was it? No, it was a Ranger, the new Ranger. And it's very tiny, like very tight. Um, me, I'm a bigger guy. I mean, I'm six foot three, 250. I got, I need space. I need to, you know, I got a pretty big wingspan. And I felt like I was really com like compressed in the Ranger. Uh, the Tacoma actually wasn't too bad. The uh, Colorado just was not my jam. Um, a lot of body sway with our braking and maneuverability that we did. It was just one thing where we uh, hit a rope and it causes the back end to kick out when you hit it. So that was a bit, a bit crazy. Um, 
I'm not tooting my vehicle's own horn, but Jeep definitely held it down through every single test that we had. Acceleration wise, it's a bit slow, but that's okay because when it braked coming out of the acceleration, you didn't have a lot of body sway, no weight transfer, which was good. And the pothole area, it rode like a Jeep. That's the best part, riding like a Jeep. That's why they say it's 100% truck, 100% Jeep, because it handled like a Jeep, handled like a champ, maneuverability was great. So had a good time. Now we're on to another area. So we'll see where we're going. So Tom, what do you think about that training? Well, actually that's one of the best ones because you can see all the comparison between the other models. So I think that gives you the best real world experience for selling the Gladiator. Which one do you like the most? Gladiator. Which one do you like the least? <laughs> Probably the Colorado, but the price on the Ranger was uh, okay, horrendous. Okay. Yeah, that was pretty crazy, right? Like, you get into the Ranger, and I felt like I was in a sport. Not a sport S, a sport yeah. for the price. Yeah, exactly. definitely don't get much. So now I have no clue where we're going. Our mighty trusty leader, Tyler, over there is taking us across the parking lot, and we just follow him. So, yeah, it's been pretty cool so far. Learning a lot driving a lot you know the best part about these things is we actually get to drive and um, get hands-on with the vehicles that's probably my favorite part about going to these trains what about you Tom yeah yeah, yeah pretty simple <laughs> yo I'm crazy <laughs> we're having a good time um, I think we probably have like three modules left and then we're out of here so it's been a good day hope you guys are enjoying it because it's cool for you to see this stuff that's why I'm doing this. So you can actually see it's a special edition of a Wednesday walkthrough that's like hands-on training. That's the thing that I wanted to do. I was so stoked to put this video together for you. Thank you for watching. We still got more to go. I'm tired. I'm hungry. My back hurts. Yeah. It's hot. It's pretty hot. Yeah. Tom's hot. I'm hot. I'm sweating. Glistening. You probably see it. But we going into some AC. Catch you later. Nice little gladiator sport, pulling a tractor trailer with a ranger on it. Alright, so that's it for a wonderful Wednesday walkthrough. It was a wonderful time being out here with the training. Uh, FCA puts it on first class, uh, a lot of information that you like to take in. Um, definitely learned a lot about the vehicle because I've been trying to get some information on it. Uh, being hands-on is very, very important. It's good for us uh, to drive them, feel them, check out the competition too. Uh, it's really interesting to see how different the Gladiator is than the Tacoma, the Ranger, and uh, the Colorado. So if you have any questions, definitely hit me up. Feel free to give me a call, 856-467-2200. Definitely hit like, subscribe, uh, leave some comments. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what you think about the Gladiator in general like to get your feedback uh, it's very important it helps me do my job better too uh, check me out on uh, Instagram also on my Facebook page uh, appreciate every single one of you have a great week enjoy the rest of your day whatever you're doing and uh, as always Dudley delivers God bless take care oh, yeah I forgot one thing thank you for all of my new subscribers I really appreciate every single last one of you a uh, bunch of people jumped on after I did the video with uh, self-care so I just wanted to personally thank each and every one of you, the ones who have reached out, commented on everything. Uh, you guys are great. I appreciate every single person out there. Got mad love for every single one of you. So uh, definitely tell other people about my page. It might be something they'd be interested in. Um, got some more content, got some things we're gonna be keeping rolling. And uh, yeah, thanks for checking me out.